Why, hello everybody, J from Studios here to give you another video. This is a special video because I'll be redrawing this classic picture. This right here is Jane's official school picture that I use in my comic. You know, I would copy and paste it whenever her school picture is being shown. It's for consistency's sake. And yeah, this video right here is going to be similar to the videos I've shown you guys earlier this year where I, I redrew or practically traced over some old pictures of Blue and Ashley with, you know, well, but I updated their hair. And uh, Jane is no exception. I changed her hair with the help of uh, an artist friend of mine. And she looks so much better. This is how she looks like now. Look at her. Awesome. The hair kind of makes sense. You know, it's a big poofy ponytail rather than just, you know, a bun and her long hair just, you know, spiking up like this. Oh, and the lines. These lines right here, they were so annoying to draw. Gotta make sure they're even and, you know, they're, you know the way they're curved downward, so awkward. I, I would imagine if, 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 uh, if this was animated, if my comic was, you know, animated, I, I'd imagine it'd be, it'll be so annoying to draw all these lines to make sure they're nice and even and they wouldn't jag around. So, yeah, awesome decision right here to change her hair. I, I don't know. I decided, oh, uh, I got to do something different this year. Got to have some improvement because me I haven't been really improving in the last five years in fact this picture right here was made in 2015 six years ago so it's time for an update you know all right so first things first I make a new layer of uh, white I already made it because you know this is my second attempt of making this video because I don't know sometimes I <laughs> it takes a couple attempts to make a comfortable take a good take I oh, don't know I made a joke about the weather you see down here it's 69 degrees Fahrenheit oh, damn nice <laughs> I'm so immature okay so let's get started um I'm gonna do this in real time no no speed I'm not gonna speed up the video or anything uh, hopefully I won't have to edit a lot but if there is a, a lull in the video, I might as well just cut that out, you know. But basically, I'm just retracing. But I'll be adding the the updates, you know, the, like the, the like her improved eyes and hair and whatnot. I'm gonna be careful not to. I'm definitely not gonna retrace the same exact thing you see here. Then you'll be asking why, why not uh, just draw it all, all over again because this is easier for me and less time-consuming because I don't want to you know do the sketch and, and all that I just want to do something quick and by golly I'm gonna make a video too because I haven't been you know uploading a lot that's because I was on vacation you know? I was in uh, Fairbanks visiting family and friends working too, earning a little bit of money. I had a good time, but it's, you know, I've been dying to get back to my Cintiq and draw. Maybe I should make more videos like this. I mean, a lot of you guys, you know, you know, uh, find my videos relaxing, especially the ones where I'm drawing or a live stream. I pride in my live streams being chill, you know? I'm not a super, you know, entertaining guy. But, you know, people, they do like to, you know, watch me draw. You can say it's therapeutic. No more of these awkward lines. Just these simple lines will do. Like they say, less is more. Now, with her bow. I actually showing the the top part of the bow, and the bow I think is uh, relatively the same. No, I swear this bow gets bigger and bigger every year. 
It's not supposed to, you know. In fact, oops, perspective, hold on. This bow right here looks like this. Right, uh, kinda. I'll make, make it a little bit bigger. Delete these parts. This bow in the back is kind of hiding, you know. You know, you don't see a, a whole lot of it. Due to, it's because of you know perspective. Perspective. Just like what Dipper said in that one episode. <laughs> Gravity Falls. I missed that show. I have some episodes on my computer, but I haven't been uh, watching it. In fact, I haven't seen a whole episode since uh, since uh, 2017. 2016? That's a long time ago. Really helps. If you're wondering where I got this picture, um, or when I made it, this is Jane's official model sheet. And I will show it in a future video where I explain how I created her. I don't know if it'll be next. Probably it'll be next. It's definitely fun. <laughs> definitely a uh, interesting history with her. And how I created her, you know. You know, her birthday's coming up. It's September 2nd. And I already started on the special drawing. And I will... It, it's not going to take too much longer. I finished a sketch. All I have left is, you know, inking and and coloring. It'll be officially released to the public on uh, September 2nd. But, for my patrons, I'm going to upload it as soon as I'm done with it. So there, there's a perk if you become a patron of mine. You know, it's pa patreon.com slash jfmstudios. Link in the, in the description where you can join for $1, $3, $5, or $10 a month. And if you want to see the, you know, Jane's pictures early, then I suggest joining for $3 a month. There we go. It's a shameful plug for me. You know, other than how I draw my characters' faces, I'd say my most recognizable feature in my art style would have to be my line work. Because I'd say no matter what I draw, no matter what style I draw, I can be drawing a totally different art style. The way you can, you can tell it's from me is because it's how I draw the lines. The thick and thins, you know going over certain lines to make them thicker. That's how I do things, you know? I've been working on my line work for over 10 years. All thanks to this artist named Anthony Feynman. He basically gave me some tips on how to uh, improve my line work because back then my line work was, was basically the same. Thin lines all over the place. There we go. Done. All right, now let's uh, put this layer in 100%. Make another layer underneath, so I so we can color. Coloring is very easy. Uh, I don't have to do a little under layer for this. I'll just uh, make a new layer right here and click refer other layers, so you know the line work can actually play a part here. There we go. If I didn't click refer other layers, then it would look like this. Yeah. So I gotta make sure I have that clicked on. Alright. This is how I do my comic, folks. Very simple, you know. The fill tool. 
don't let the fill tool, you know, don't be ashamed. This, this is a shortcut. And there's no, there's no shame in using shortcuts when making comics, you know? It's, it's a very tedious process to make a comic. And I still can't believe I'm, doing, I'm making them, you know? I'd say the most stressful part of making a comic is actually writing it. Because I have to make sure, you know, the, the script's long enough for a Jeff and Taylor episode. To make sure it's funny, gotta make sure it makes sense. There's no plot holes. Characters are, you know, acting appropriately. So stressful, but why do I do it? Because I love it, and I have a story to tell. That simple. In fact, if you guys make comics, uh, please let me know what are your favorite and least favorite parts on making a comic. Because I'm curious, you know? Uh, we might agree. Even though I'm, I, I, I am kind of envious on the, for of um, comic artists who don't do color; they just do black and white, and their and their black and white work is gorgeous. Like they're awesome. Me, I'm like, oh man, I can't do that. I'm terrible at black and white. I'm I, I'm a color guy, you know. Which is kind of a, you know, a double-edged sword. It was, you know, your comics look great. I mean, well, my comics look great and colorful, but at the same time, it's, uh, it, it becomes more expensive for people. So it's like, I don't know, sales are, you know, they're not optimal because people are wary. They don't want to spend a lot of money on some unknown guy's comic, you know. Hold on, how, does, uh, how did the uh, shading go again? Alright. Yeah, and the shading. I just put uh, multiply 20% and I'm using a uh, dark blue. Because, you know, she has a blue background. Fun fact, Jane's favorite color is sky blue. And Jeff's favorite color is blue, so it's like, oh my gosh, they're meant to be together. Heh <laughs> heh. Ooh boy. <laughs> yeah, like I said, writing comics is very um, tedious. It's a very tedious process for me, but at the same time, I gotta... I, you know, I always look forward to making the future episodes, because I have most of the story in my head, and I'm like thinking, oh man, I can't wait to make that part. My readers are gonna love this episode, you know, even though it's episode forty something. Yeah, I, I I plan ahead. It's always good to plan ahead when you're making a series. Make uh, you know you can give yourself a little wiggle room to, if you, in case you want to change some things, but ultimately it will help you in the long run if you uh, pre-plan some uh, major plots, plot points, you know character development. Yeah, in case you're wondering, I'm adding shading on her uh, on her eyeballs right here. <laughs> I don't know, it's a little experiment. It's because I, I've noticed that um, Horikoshi Sensei does that when he draws a, you know, My Hero Academia. He, he, he shades the eyes. So I'm curious on how it looks on my characters. So, yeah, I think that looks good. No, wait, wait. Yeah. Awesome, looks good. All right, let's uh, select uh, outside of the line work so we can uh, delete uh, some of the multi um, shading that got out. All right, let's save. 
Save as. And uh, let's put in uh, 2021. School pick chain. New. All right. No, no, not JPEG, not JPEG. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, let's save as school pick chain new Photoshop document. There we go. If I saved it as a JPEG, all the layers would be flattened, so I couldn't uh, fix. I couldn't edit it. All right, so let's open up Photoshop because it has the texture that I want, and uh, let's finish it. Let's finish your school pick. Gonna select outside right here and then delete the white. There we go. Hold on. We can see a. Uh... Well, I'll show it later. Let's add that background. How did I make this cloudy background? Well, I'll show you. Let's see. I gotta pick my colors first. Um, let's go with. Huh. Is she the same as Jeff? Same exact colors? Hold on. Nah, I'll just do this. The colors may be a bit different, but it can work. Alright, then I go to Filter, mm, Render, Clouds. There we go. The colors are a bit different, uh, it's a lot brighter. I may have to uh, desaturate it because I want Jane to pop, you know? I want this girl to pop. Alright, filter, render, clouds. Alright, that can work. So let's combine these layers together. And I'm going to add a little filter. Um, no, it's just for that uh, photograph effect. I think it's this. So I'll use a gradient tool. And I remembered it was screen. The layer effect is screen. Up it up to 25%. Maybe 30. There we go. And there we have it. This is Jane's new school picture. Let's look at the difference. 2021, 2015. And you said I haven't improved. <laughs> I'm talking to the haters. That's right. Even though they're rare, and I'm thankful for that, the line works much smoother. Her ear is smaller. Her hair is uh, floofier. Her bow is smaller, too. Alright, so that's it for me. I'm going to flatten this picture and finally save it as a JPEG. I'm going to save it. Save over that. Yes, it's correct. Awesome. So how long did that take me overall? Well, not even half an hour. That's why I wanted to do this in real time. There's no need for a speed paint. No need. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, next video should be uh, her her history video, where I talk about how I created Jane. That right there is going to be a speed bank, where I where I finish up her uh, character sheet, you know, her her model sheet, you know. So 
So yeah, I have nothing else to say other than uh, please consider joining my Patreon. I'm uh, re I relaunched that campaign a couple days ago, and uh, I've gained some new patrons. And yeah, if you want to see some exclusive art or you know artwork, to, you know early access to some artwork and some comics, then uh, that's your place. Jeff, you know it's patreoncom Studios. The link is in the in the description. You can join for, you know, one dollar, three, five, or ten dollars a month. You know, different perks, different prices. Whichever you pick, you know, it's the right choice for you. All right, so that's it for me. JFM out. Goodbye.